If you've already got a WordPress website, you're probably wondering how WooCommerce will integrate with your existing site. That's exactly what we'll be looking at in this lesson. There are a couple of different ways to set up WooCommerce with an existing website. So this is the structure of a traditional business website. You have pages for your core content, like About Us, maybe your locations, a contact page, uh, and whatever else you're publishing on your business website. And then you'll be using posts for your blog or your news area. And the site will look something like this. This is a site diagram. You can see the home page at the top. And then About Us is a page. And the location under that is a sub page. And the blog are actually posts. And there are several posts in the blog area. And Customer Service is a page. And then the Contact Us is a page. Now, WooCommerce adds a number of pages to your website. Uh, WooCommerce adds a shop page, a cart page, a checkout page, and a My Accounts page. You actually have control over which pages WooCommerce uses for these different functions, but WooCommerce helpfully offers to create these pages for you automatically and make the connection so you don't have to. And we'll walk through this when I show you how to set up WooCommerce. And this is a site diagram of a very simple WooCommerce website. You've got the home page, and then you've got the four special types of pages that I just mentioned, shop, cart, checkout, and my account. And then coming out of the shop page, WooCommerce actually generates a couple of different variations depending on how your shop is set up. Uh, you can show product categories. If you've got quite a few products, you might want to group them into categories. And then individual product pages as well. And WooCommerce will automatically generate those. So if we combine the two, we get a hybrid that looks something like this. If you were to install WooCommerce and activate it and set up those special WooCommerce pages, they would just slot right into your website and live alongside all of your existing content. And of course, you would want to add your shop pages to the navigation bar so your customers could find the products that you're selling. But this is not the only way to do it. There is an alternate approach. Uh, you could use two separate WordPress installations and use a subdomain for your store. And it would look something like this. So you'll have your main website on www.yourdomain.com. And then you would set up a subdomain, maybe something like shop.yourdomain.com. Now, most web hosting accounts will allow you to set up as many subdomains as you need. It's something you'll be able to do through your web host control panel. And a subdomain is something you can create at will on your domain. You don't need to register with GoDaddy or whoever your registrar is. You create subdomains as needed. As the domain owner, you can create as many subdomains as you want, and you can name them whatever you want. And so with a web hosting account that supports unlimited subdomains, which again, most do, you would be able to create a shop subdomain for your main domain. So here are some general notes on integrating WooCommerce with an existing WordPress website. WooCommerce won't interfere with your existing pages or posts. You should be able to activate the WooCommerce plugin without breaking your website. Uh, Non-WooCommerce themes may require some CSS customization. Uh, you won't really know until you turn WooCommerce on and take a look at it. Uh, how much adjustment you need to do. That's sort of a process of trial and error. Of course, if you're using a WooCommerce theme that was designed to work with WooCommerce, you're not going to have that issue. Uh, generally, though, if you have an existing website and you're thinking about setting up WooCommerce and you want to integrate the two, you should set up a test site where you can experiment with WooCommerce. Uh, and I talk a little bit about how to do that in the WordPress Essentials course uh, you want to set up a, a system called desktop server on your desktop, uh, or maybe you want to set up a subdomain called test.yourdomain.com on your web hosting account. And then you can use a plugin like Duplicator to make an identical copy of your website to the test site. And then you can install WooCommerce there and see what sort of issues might be arising uh, from turning WooCommerce on. Uh, and also, you should consider setting up a standalone shop on a subdomain. If you have problems integrating with your existing website, you can always set up shop.yourdomain.com. And now I'd like to introduce you to the project site that I'm going to be working on throughout this course. Smellofbooks.com is the home of the world's first aerosol ebook enhancer, Smell of Books in a Can. 
This product is well known in certain circles. It was created by a company called Durosport. That's the parent company. They've never sold this product online. Uh, E-commerce was always out of reach. It was just too complicated for them. Instead, they've always sold through distributors and retailers. And so this site was really more of a brochure for the Smell of Books product line. But now they've decided to start selling direct to consumers and WooCommerce is going to power their online store. And this is the site I'm going to be building. Now the site happens to be a really good test because it has many of the problems that might be common to businesses that have established an online presence, maybe in the past, and now all of a sudden they're getting to the e-commerce thing and they're facing problems figuring out how to integrate this new technology with existing technology. Uh, this Smell of Books website is very old. And uh, because of that, I'm going to be using a subdomain. We're going to be setting up shop.smellofbooks.com. And I'll be building the site on a fresh WordPress installation. The original theme is just very old. It's not responsive. It would be too much work with not enough payoff to get the old theme working with WooCommerce. It's just not going to work the way we want it to. So I'll be using a new Woo theme optimized for WooCommerce. And once the site is live, I will have the option of converting shop.smellofbooks.com to the main website, www.smellofbooks.com. So that's a side benefit. It's like being able to do a site redesign in a test area out of the way of the public eye. And then in the end, when it's done, uh, I have the option of making it the main website. So that's an overview of the issues you need to consider when integrating WooCommerce with your existing WordPress website, as well as an introduction to the site we're going to be building in this course.